Hi, people. I'm back to talk about the Bad Girls Club. I don't really know how I felt about the episode, really. Erica irritates my spirit. I just, I don't, I don't like her for some reason. Um, and it doesn't help that she doesn't have a neck. That really bothers me. You know, Erica. That's my Erica. I got to put my shoulders up. And, I don't like Erica. Um, A.K.A. Miss Potato Head. Um, A.K.A. Jay Leno's daughter. Um, she's funny shaped. She's funny made. Um, she seems to be envious of Jenna in this episode. Like, I don't like her. And it's funny that all of them want to get together and get Jenna out of the house. But I'm like, y'all some stupid bitches. Because once you get her out of the house, you got to find somebody else to hate. And guess who's left to be hated? Like, you guys are left alone to hate each other. And the only thing you're going to do is turn on each other. I just, it's just so stupid to me. Okay, I, earlier in the show, um, the twins' father called with his big goofy ass on the phone saying he wants them to stir up some drama. They never really did um, anything with their life before now and like they just can't come home you know and shit like that it's sad if he feels the bad girls club is like a major accomplishment for them i understand there are perks and things that come with being on the show but like damn for real for real like he proud of them and shit for being on the bad girls club like for real. ain't that some trailer park trash shit that's like and we always get those fathers on the show that act like bitches she was telling him um about the girl having company and um being all loud and everything i agree it was rude but you get on the phone and tell your dad and he's talking about no that's rude i would have beat her ass for that like for real you sound like a big big bitch but on the other end of the phone sound like a big big bitch you know i i can't I can't, I can't, I cannot. And then, they so lame, it's so scripted, you know, nothing's, like, authentic anymore, as far as, like, their, everything's just a fucking, it's an act, and it just irritates me that they're strategizing, it takes away from the show, Oxygen, y'all really need to take note on this shit, them bitches that strategizing, and all that shit, like, pay attention to an oxygen. It takes away, it takes away from the show. Y'all, you know, I understand reality TV um, is edited to appear the way that networks would like for them to appear. That's one thing. But when y'all editing the shit and the bitches being strategic and scripted, like, that's too fucking much. Like, that's like watching Family Matters. Or the Cosby show or some shit. That's like watching a regular show. Like, it just takes all the reality away from reality TV. And I'm kind of over it. And I'm about to say fuck it. And I'm about to start watching shows and shit that just come on TV that aren't reality shows. Because reality TV has gotten out of hand. Like, I'm talking about the big, big, big bitch. You know, the big goofy daddy. You know, he, he's like a big, big bitch. And I wish he would stop telling you know stir up some drama cause some drama and i feel like this if you were on the bad girls club show and somebody has to coach you they have to motivate you to be a bad girl bitch you don't belong on the show the show is called the bad girls club you shouldn't have to be coached and trained into becoming a bad girl Bitch, if you ain't a bad girl, get the fuck off the show. Matter of fact, send your big, big, bitchy ass daddy to the show. And because really, to me, he sound, he sound like he the real bad girl in the family. Um, your big, goofy daddy, he the bad girl. So um, you should send him to the show. You know that big, big bitch? Uh, he, that's what he is to me. He's like a big ass walking mountain, just a bitch. Put a bow on it. Send that motherfucker to the show. Okay, let's talk about the limo incident. Well, in the limo, you know, I'm so sick of Miss Potato Head. Like, she really get on my nerves. Um, the fact that she doesn't have a neck gets on my nerves. Um, I think 
her mother is Jay Leno, Leno's baby mama. Like that bitch looks. Well, no, you know what? She looks like Jay Leno's love child by way of masturbation. He made that bitch by himself. This big moon face headed bitch. This big potato head. Like y'all played Mr. Potato Head before when you were little. You need to um get with the little toy company bitch and have them come out with a female um version, Mrs. Potato Head, and uh they can even put get the little red plastic uh hair that, that you could stick on the potato head. Like bitch, you do you look like head and feet, bitch, Miss Potato Head. And I'm just sick of this no neck bitch. This big ain't bitch ain't got nothing but head, bitch. Just head, head, head and mo head, bitch. Head shoulders knees and toes bitch that's you you funny made body bitch like i just i'm over her and then her hair red and i think she is envious of jenna and that's why you kept fucking with jenna but bitch we can't help because you look like a big ass massive um head uh with a set of knees and a pair of fucking shoes bitch you just a funny made bitch you, you just look like you're missing some body parts some chromosome bitch you know i don't, I don't like her I don't I don't like her I don't like her hair I don't like the neck that she does not have I don't like that bitch so um yeah and she trying to stir up shit and she's trying to be um the leader bitch how you gonna let a bitch be the head that don't have no neck to hold the head bitch like y'all letting her lead the bitch oh. Erica you really work my nerves bitch and you try to say well you want to get rid of Jenna because Jenna has um more of a um backbone bitch well bitch you don't need to be talking about nobody backbone bitch because you got a head bitch with no neck bone bitch so you talking about motherfucker don't have no backbone but jenna got one but the other motherfucker don't have a backbone bitch you don't have a neck bone bitch like i just don't like erica i am trying y'all i am trying y'all please pray for her and um we need to put that bitch neck on the back of a, a milk carton or something because it's missing and you know you shit we need to call somebody we need to get nancy grace on it bitch I don't like you, Erica. And the funny thing about it is, Erica acts so big and bad. The bitch tied a red scarf on her red fucking period dyed hair, which I ain't knocking because it look okay on some people, but bitch, you already look like a disaster, bitch. So why you gonna die that bitch? You gonna die that bitch. You gonna make a disaster. Like, now you like a red disaster, bitch. You like a warning. A warning, bitch. Like, she gonna tie the damn scarf on her head like she ready to fight Jenna. Like, bitch, I see right through you, bitch. I see right through her. You don't want to fight Jenna. Trying to be big and bad and put your pajamas under the skirt. Bitch, what? That didn't make no sense, bitch. And then, let me tell you one thing I can say, though. I respect Jenna's gangster, though. They can be like, how she think she gonna take on all of us, four of us, or whatever they fucking said. That bitch is gangster because it wasn't about winning. It's about, bitch, I want to put my hands on you, bitch. Let me hit one of you bitches see, see y'all got it twisted y'all thinking it's about winning bitch it ain't about winning sometimes you just want to prove a point or she just wanted to feel one of y'all face on her knuckles it, it didn't have nothing to do with winning anybody know it's gonna be hard to whoop four bitches but she just she wasn't trying to whoop all four of y'all personally if it were me bitch i might fight for y'all bitches and i ain't trying to whoop all four of y'all bitches but i'm just trying to whoop one bitch because somebody gonna get their ass whooped out the four she thinks she can take out. No, she can't take all of you, but she can get one of you and whoop one of you's ass. That's the point. And so I respect her gangster for that. That it was four of um y'all, but the bitch still went bowing down. She went bowing down. She went backing up. She just wanted to touch one of y'all bitches. That bitch was so mad. She like, fuck it. Come on, bitches. Come on. Give it to me. You gonna whoop my? Come do it. I know that right. So I respect her gangster. She was rude when she had her company. And shit like that and the dude they, they should have kept it quiet or whatever but i really felt like everybody was out of line um i feel like they were rude as hell because the time of night they should have been more considerate of the other roommates at the same time the way the girls came down and shit acting like oh oh she just so noisy y'all bitches didn't like her anyway y'all didn't like her anyway and that was just uh something to pick at now i understand you wanted to sleep and if like the ones who normally get along with her if they irritated and they approach her like you need to keep it down but you motherfuckers don't like her anyway 
you were glad she made noise because you wanted a reason to bitch at her and bark at her and, and, and you know, bitch bark. What the birds, birds do? Chirp, bitch. That's for the Miss Potato Head bitch looking like Tweety Bird. So y'all just want the bitch bark and and that bitch wanted to uh, chirp looking like um Miss Tweety Bird with your big ass head, bitch. That big moon face, bitch. That somebody need to send that bitch up to the moon, bitch. And um, so you can reunite with the uh, your creator, bitch, or uh, whoever, bitch. That's where you derive from, bitch. You are not from this world. But okay, moving on. So that that's 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 about how I feel about the show. The twins are lame, corny, fake. They're they're scripted. Okay, bitch. I believe your birth was scripted. I just think y'all one of those. Y'all was one of those uh popsicle babies or something. I really think um. Uh, they didn't make your mom and daddy didn't get in the bed and make y'all think uh, uh, the clinic or fertility clinic somewhere. I think they made you and ain't nothing wrong with that bitch. But you scripted your damn uh, birth was probably scripted, bitch. You 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 get the whatever the sperm meeting the egg was scripted, bitch. Y'all some scripted bitches from uh, beginning to finish, bitch. From birth to death, you some scripted bitches. Mimi. <sighs> Mimi a punk. I don't know what to say about Mimi. She a punk. She a punk. She a motherfucking punk. Um, I don't get it. She she bitch got a a punk, uh, hairstyle which is pretty high. It's nice. And bitch, you just cause your hair you you on the punk style, the rock, the punk rock style, bitch. Don't mean you gotta be a punk, bitch. In real life, you just a punk, bitch. I, I don't know what to do with you, Mimi. And um, you know what? I was watching it though, and she's actually a cute girl. She a cute punk. That's what she is. Now moving on. Uh, but for some reason, I like Mimi personality, but Mimi, bitch, we're going to have to get you some karate classes or something. I I'm, I need for you to whoop somebody's ass or do something. You need to get them hoes off of you, girl. You can't wear a, a hairstyle. You can't wear Rihanna hairstyle that she had when she was singing, I'm so hard, uh, yeah, 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 bitch, and you so soft, bitch. That ain't going to work, bitch. You got the hairstyle, bitch. You need to have the lifestyle, bitch. I'm missing somebody. We already talked about that old emo looking bitch. That old, I can't get off a rock head. I am head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I, that bitch works my nerves. The twins, okay, the scripted. Um, Mimi, okay, we take she cute for the punk, cute punk. Um, yeah, okay, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Jenna, like I said, you was rude, bitch. I do think uh, 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 Erica's a bit jealous of you. You know, aka head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, she jealous of you, and um. That's why she wanted to get rid of you. Um, she's old, funny shape, bitch. Jenna, so you got to understand, you need to sympathize that um, you are a reminder that God can do it right. And um, she, she she didn't like you for that. I'm sorry. I mean, but, you know, it ain't your fault. It ain't hers either. It ain't nobody's fault. Some shit happens. And, and, you know, that's how she was born because, you know, shit happens. Um, Amy, she don't seem like a psycho. She's no longer a whack bat. Well, she wasn't on this episode, which, you know, I think she's a little psycho, but, you know, I, I think the personality, you know, she's schizophrenic, so the, the personality, the calm one, the nice per, the one, that was who she was this episode. Gia, is she on that one? Yeah, I think she did. I don't know who give a fuck. Obviously, bitch, you, you like Casper, bitch, that's all I can say for you, because I don't remember you doing much. Maybe you did, I don't know, your name just don't ring a bell on this show, um, you can't have too many um, more of that bitch because other than that, you're a filler bitch. You just take it up a seat, bitch, um, because it was there. Like the extra seat on the plane that you get the last minute, get the discount, bitch. That's you, bitch. Because I, you, you, I just don't ring a bell. Um, yeah, so that's it. General Rude, her company, you know, they some assholes. The motherfucker went in the kitchen, start cleaning up. You know you was a bland bitch. When you had a company and the dude just go in the kitchen and start washing your dishes, you was a bland bitch. And he said he was bored. Motherfucker, you bored enough to clean up? You need to come be bored over my house, okay? <laughs> I can use your services. Ooh, I get more done through the day. A little manly maid. I hear you then. So, yeah, he was washing dishes and shit. That was cute. That's it. 